Hey everybody, this is Yarkeen. I was just out there spraying my trees for the first time um, this year. I know a lot of people will spray it earlier, but it just wasn't very humid and I, I expect it's gonna start getting more humid pretty soon uh, to try to protect my trees. I, I, I'm spraying with this uh, zinc stuff. I think some people think it's organic. Before I sprayed this last tree, I was like, let me go ahead and pick some of the fruit off of this so it'd be 100% organic. I just picked this fruit off right here. It's got a little spot right there, but it looks pretty good. I had I had two of them already. I'm gonna go ahead and pick off some of the other fruits that's ready. Uh, I did. It probably had about this this small tree. It's a um, well, it's a third year tree, but I stunted the growth after the second year because it was plumb flat to the ground. But I decided after some research it'd be better to go ahead and pick it up off the ground so it'll have more drainage because um, there's a lot of clay here. So I definitely broke a lot of roots and stunted the growth that first um, go after that first year. So this is the third year and it's got some fruit. I had about 25 fruits. This is a ruby sweet, by the way. Uh, and most of them fell off. I had two or three already and they're pretty good. Uh, I'm actually really excited about the potential quality for this fruit because assuming that the fruit, uh, when it gets bigger, like let's say it gets big as that peach tree over there, assuming it's gonna, the fruit quality is going to increase um, and assuming that it's gonna get a little bigger and those are, I feel like those are fair assumptions, then this could be pretty good. So this is this is what it looks like. It's got that little white stuff all over it. You can shine it up. I'll take a bite out of it. Cause you know, I realized after YouTube and some stuff, there's really not a lot about this plum here. And it's got some spots. I, I didn't spray anything on it. So I just eat around the spots. Let me try it out. Mm. It's red inside and a little tart a little sweet I, I like it i feel like um if it was 15 percent a little better which i predict it will be once it's a bigger tree it's gonna be really good so this tree has grown really well uh and it's the first one that's actually produced any plums for me i got santa rosa this is going on a second year here nothing it had some balloons but nothing and then i have over there um i got a another a european one and i pulled up the other one because it was just infested with bugs and i wasn't going to deal with that so yeah it's pretty good i'm gonna take another bite really sweet i had i bit another one that was slightly firmer it was still red and i like that one a little better because it was a little bit more tart and this one's just pure sweetness well it has a little bit the skin is a little bit tart so let's say june 8th june 9th i'm not sure what what day it is actually but it's really juicy there's a core Mm. This is actually a really nice treat. It tastes really good. Delicious. Hey. What's up? Yeah. All right, let me see. We got a few more that's ready. I'm gonna pull these off now. We got a few more that's not. I'm gonna take them to work tonight, unless my kids want some. There's one, two. Well, that one's, a, I'm not sure if that one is completely ready. It's, I might have pulled it off too soon. And, oh, this one just fell off. pull this one off too three so 
a little bit, a little bit of a harvest here. Whoa. Yeah. So I'm gonna either take these to work or eat them before work. Good times. This tree, I feel like it's been a good investment. Like $25 at Walmart. <laughs> so I definitely am liking this tree. Thanks. Like, comment, subscribe. Your king.